What's up guys, Shane Starnes with Droid Modder X. If you have received the over-the-air update for the Nexus 10 to Android Lollipop, or if you have manually flashed the over-the-air update, you're probably wondering about root. How do I get this thing back to being rooted? Good news is that Chainfire has already released the CF Auto Root for the Nexus 10 and several other devices. Uh, what we want to do is make sure that we have our USB debugging turned on and also that OEM unlock is checked. So we'll go to developer options. Make sure USB debugging is checked. Once you have the USB debugging checked, we'll go ahead and connect our USB cable and we will set our device to the side. Then you want to head to the link in the description that'll bring you to the CF root page uh, here and you'll go ahead and download the CF auto root for the Manta Ray Nexus 10. When that is finished, we'll go ahead and open that file and you'll Go ahead and unzip that file. Okay, so you'll need to be in bootloader mode. The best way to do that is to press and hold volume up, volume down, and power from a powered off state, and that'll get you into the bootloader mode. Or alternatively, you can open a command prompt. You can type ADB reboot bootloader. That'll get you here as well. Okay, so we'll go ahead and unzip the file. Okay, once it's unzipped here, you should be able just to open this and double click on root windows.bat. If you're on a Windows device, that should initiate a script which will automatically root your device. Uh, I'm on Mac when I double click it doesn't really do anything. So what I'm going to do here is something a little different if you run into that problem where it doesn't run the script. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and open up this image here and we will copy this and paste it in our Android uh, platform tools folder. So we'll just paste that there. So we'll go ahead and open up uh, terminal and CD into that folder. So CD, for me it's users, Shane Starnes, desktop, Android, platform, tools. When I'm there, I'm just going to boot and the image name. Boot image, image name. And then I'm going to hit enter. Okay, so basically the uh, command that you should type is fast boot boot and then paste the image name. It's going to go ahead and uh, flash the root image. And then it's going to reboot your device. So like I said, you should be able just to double click on the exe, the root.bat, uh, or the root.sh on Mac. And it should do it automatically, but if it doesn't, you can manually flash it. Just uh, go into your ADB and do fast boot boot and then the image name. Okay, so once it is rebooted, you should be able to open up your app drawer and find Super SU. That means that the process has completed and you are now rooted on Android 5.0. Just ver we'll go ahead and verify that we are on Android 5.0. Big shout outs to Chainfire for making this happen. We'll go ahead and verify root by uh, checking it with root checker. We'll agree. Okay. We'll verify root. It's going to ask for root permissions, which it does. We'll go ahead and grant root permissions, and it'll tell us that we are now rooted. Once again, big shout outs to Chainfire for the root method on the Nexus 10. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.